Morning guys, it's uh, day three, second tilt camp 3.1. Just down here on the range this morning. We've got all the students down here. It's gonna be manned by Timo. Timo's gonna look after you there. Those of you not with Andy this morning will be with me putting and Oscar short game. Some bunker stuff as well we're gonna do this morning. And then we'll flip that around this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Down here in the short game area, I've got the Swedish contingent uh, just doing a bit of short game. And I'm not sure what they're saying, but I'm sure it's really interesting. Learning much, Benny? Yeah, you, have to, you have to translate that now, Nick. I know. <laughs> that was awesome, Benny. So your practice to get rid of that was the arc drill. You, you got one chance, Benny. There's only one ball there, mate. No, it's it's not with the ball. It's ah, oh, okay. Good. Ah, so you're moving the what you're moving that low point further and further forward. Yes, yeah, sw swinging it further forward on the arc and round the arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a good so one. Now you can strike the ball better. Let's have a look. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable, Bernie. Awesome stuff, mate. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, Love it. Well, Oscar just going for the arc drill with uh, Bernie here. Oh, almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So we've got Bernie here. Um, Oscar's just been showing us a left-handed shot with a right-handed club. What's the idea here, Oscar? Yeah, it's just fun. Bernie, by your grip, it looks like you're going to hit it towards us. Left hand down. Yeah. You're, you're a righty now, or a lefty. So you change places with your hands. Oh, right, okay. So the left's got to be down. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How good was that? It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That was good. Yeah. Not a lot of bounce left on the on the toe, is it? <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, good shot. Thank you, very please. I'm just down on the putting green here. I've got Matthias behind me. Uh, three handicap from Germany, just doing a bit of passing we saw him yesterday. Um, Rob and Timo set up a little station for him. Just seen him hold about four putts in a row, so he's got a tee in the distance for his aim point. And as long as he gets the right speed, he can't miss. They set up a little arc station, love that. So he's got his aim point with his tee, so he's got to get his head down, just to get in line with that. And then through the gate, keeping the putter on the arc. Can't miss. That's unbelievable. Yes. Show me. Rob. Ah. Oh. I got the camera out and you topped it. Standard. Video me. Yeah, I've got you. Oh, good. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, well done. Very, very good. Well long, done. Long drive competition. <laughs> yeah. Now you have a target. Awesome, Rob. Anyway, that's enough practice. Did you get that one, Nick? I've got that one. You get that one? You get that one. Oscar, Shreva. that is ridiculous. Bleh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Oscar, I think you're better Streber? left handed, mate, with your driver. I think I could be. It's impressive, actually. Oscar. Streber. Thank you. Unbelievable, isn't it? Thank you, Alka. Yeah. That was fun. Yes. Who won? Alka won. Ah, of course she did. Billy with his, uh, his wide stance. I'm sure he's going to appreciate this. I'm going to show him it later. Down inside the range here, we've got Oscar just going through some bunkers. I'm going to get some of that. So, my goal is to hit the sand forward, not to 
scatter the sand like that. If I scatter the sand, it, there's no, there's no uh, momentum in it. it, doesn't travel very far. So if I scatter the sand with the ball there, you never really know where it's going to go. But if you hit it, everything flying together and forward, a lot easier to get the ball traveling. Dorsey Flex, like, butt back. That is some pronation as well. Pronation, yeah, handle back, right, handle, handle down. Handle back, shift. Pronation, Dorsey Flex, keeping it, keeping it in there all the time. And then early, <laughs> early set. Well, I'm going to set it with more Dorsey Flex. To get the fa face pointing back towards you. Yeah, okay. Get opening. Yes. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Wonderful. Thank you. Martin. 20 years, Martin. Or 15 years, Martin. <laughs> Five minutes with Andy. <laughs> <laughs> You're prepared. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoy that? Yeah. Good. That was brilliant. You were awesome. Yeah, that was some good hard work there. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's this logo. Oh, I love it. I didn't notice. I want to get my picture with that. <laughs> <laughs> Take my picture with a close up of this logo. <laughs> I've got Billy, uh, the cameraman. Okay. He's uh, my wingman for the week. How's it going, mate? Pretty good, mate. Thanks, Nick. You enjoyed it? Yeah. <laughs> Fun. It's been hard work. But yeah, must be great, great experience. To, great, yeah. Obviously, great experience to listen to the general every lesson and yeah. pick things up. It obviously, it's going to help your coaching as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, it's uh, you've got to keep your eye on the ball with uh, managing a huge amount of data. But at the same time, I've seen you being prepared, mate. You've worked so hard this week, and I've just noticed Andy's about to start another lesson. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to crack on. Yeah, I don't know. Get in the way. Thanks, Nick. Cheers, man. Hi, guys. We're it's day three here, second tilt camp 3.1. Just sitting down here watching Andy do a lesson, but I've just bumped into the doc. How are you going, doc? Just great, thanks. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for your presentation the other day. I've, I've learned so much again. I think it's brilliant how we bring in second tilt anatomy into it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, you're a credit to the system. So thank Great. You. Well, thank you so much. I enjoy coming. Good. Um, so a question that comes up quite a lot is I get asked questions on my videos, social media. Uh, people are coached as well. And the question always is, they always think stack and tilt is bad for your back. So how would you answer that? Yeah, I, I would say that all the motions that uh, stack and tilt uh, prescribes are within the normal range and a normal plane of motion of the body to express that in the simplest terms. Um, stack and tilt isn't asking your body to do anything it doesn't do hundreds of times a day. Yeah. We are always are bending down to put our shoes on and put our socks on. We're, we're turning and side tilting to get the seat belt to pull that down and uh, none of those motions are harmful and stack and tilt prescribes some of those but not beyond the normal range of motion. Yeah. So I think they see they see the pictures of players extending, side bending, things like that, and they think that's bad for your back. But obviously, like you say, there they're all movements that are within the body's range of motion. So stack and tilt, like you say, is a godsend. Right. Yeah, that's one of my my most common uh, statements is that stack and tilt is a godsend to every player, but particularly a senior, senior player as myself. And in fact, I would even go farther to say that some. Uh, ways of playing which advocate freezing your pelvis and trying to turn your shoulders 90 degrees over that are mm. are the models that may indeed cause injury and I think stack and tilt if anything is a preventative ap approach to uh, to golf that's suitable for all ages and all physical abilities and so yeah, forth. I totally and agree. I think we, we had this seminar the other day and we we're talking about the average golfer if they just turn their shoulders without turning their pelvis. Right. If I'm, not, I'm sitting on the bench here with Nick and if I just go to turn now I I can maybe turn about 30 degrees and I always ask the question where does the other 60 degrees come from yeah. to turn your shoulders 90 which is what most people recommend and in, in my world that comes from <clears throat> from an abnormal amount of torque being applied to the spine which in my mind is dangerous yeah and stack until we allow motion of the knees and pelvis and to get 30 degrees from the knees 30 from the pelvis 30 from the torso to get 90 degrees with, with no undue tension or stress on the body so that would be my answer to that question that stack and tilt not only is it not harmful but it's actually a preventive yeah. way of hitting the golf ball for all ages and all physical types yeah. couldn't have said it better myself thanks doc <laughs> appreciate that uh, thank you thanks enjoy for, the rest of the week thank you and thanks for having me back oh it's, it's been a pleasure thank you 
Oh my god. How good is that golf one? Oh, oh, doggy. Is that in my right? Competition yeah. you. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm walking away. <laughs> no. I'd love to no, see no, that. I'm lost already. I'd love, that's a very good, good idea, okay. Let's see that. <laughs> I've lost already. That's a pleasure. Oh, oh see, so yeah, get that one, Nick. Get oh, no, no, camera's on, no, camera's no. on, pressure's on. Oh, it's on? Okay. Uh, it's on. Oh, right, you're going to try now, yeah? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I was so supposed to beat that. Did he tell you he's left handed? Oh. I didn't tell you I was left handed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is going to be brilliant. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm going to peer it off the first one. That's good. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Passed the test. Nearby. <laughs> Out of 12. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, just down the range here. Uh, I've got Nate behind me. Just sort of sharing a little drill here. So I learned this one from Mike Bennett, and I think Nate did as well. So, would you call this drill? It's called the slam drill. Yep. I have my weight for my left arm straight, my right arm slightly bent. When I come through, I want the shaft, with this shaft on the ground, I want it per uh, perpendicular or 90 degrees with this one, visually. Okay, so what yeah. sort of golfers would this help with? What sort of Anyone that has a tendency to keep their weight back, yep. scoop, or get in front a little bit and top. Okay. okay. So weight forward, handle forward, the shortest backswing, the most speed. And stop it the quickest. So, what club have you got there, Nate? Pitching wedge. Oh, pitching wedge. So it's only like a wedge, like a half swing, but uh, fast, but hard. And stop. What'd you call that? What drill? Slam. Slam drill. Go on and see another one. Yep. Yeah. Wait forward. Handle forward. Short back swing. The quickest stop. Ninety degrees. So he's just punching these wedges, they're not going very high. Actually I'm getting out. Edge, my arms are straight and the flying wedge is built in. Perfect. Stayed in. Awesome, let's have a look from this angle. Perfect. Really good. So I love that drill there from Nate. So anyone that sort of scoops at the ball, has the weight too far back, it really helps with sort of the contacts. We call it the flying wedge drill. Nate calls it the slam drill. Okay, so I'm just standing with Soren from Sweden. Just check out his, uh, his drivers. It's unbelievable. Wow. You know, I'm a folk dancer actually, and uh, wearing a yeah, folkloristic costume from Lex and, and Dalarna. And therefore, I wanted to have some curbits on my two drivers. Okay. The painting is handmade. Okay. Who, who did this for you? Oh, was it uh, a woman up in Mora in the county of Dalarna in Sweden? Look at that. I've never seen anything like that before. Does it help your golf? Yeah, I think it makes it golf more fun <laughs> and beautiful. That's have, what some, have something nice to look at. One. That's what it's all about, son. Yeah, hope, it is. I hope you're enjoying the week. <laughs> yeah. So, so lunchtime here, day three, Stagnant Tilt Camp 3.1, and behind me on the range, it's very quiet. But we've got Trish Johnson. Take a look at this. Afternoon. How you doing? Good, thank you. Very nice, Trish. So what brings you to Valdeste? Well, I've got a tournament down in Spain, uh, in uh, La Quinta, down in Malaga, in about 10, 12 days time. Okay. And uh, What tour is that on? LET, Ladies LET European Tour, last yep. tournament of the year. And Brilliant. Martin, who obviously is... Uh, the pro here, Martin Park, is my teacher, so I thought I'd come down and I've been very fortunate to meet a few other the other guys in the Stack and Till Network, which is Excellent. fascinating. So you were here on um, Friday for Andy's clinic? I was. I was, yeah, very honoured to be able to listen to that. It was an hour and a half of just absolute gems. It was brilliant, Because I've it? obviously learnt the, um, you know, if you like the Stack and Tilt through Martin, but yeah. Andy's a little bit different. He's uh, obviously the sort of founder. Yeah. So it was... Yeah, just you're just listening to just simple stuff that he explains it so well, doesn't he? He does, and you just sometimes you want to hear you want to hear the same thing but said a different way. Of course, and yeah. Sometimes that can just sort of. I think that's what's great about all these um, co having all these coaches here. Yeah. Because all the students, um, a lot of them work with stack and tilt coaches back home. 
but then once they come here they get to listen to other people and sometimes it just can click sometimes can't it I think it's yeah and do you know what is this it's fascinating the whole thing I don't think I've ever seen a group of people before um, who have no problem with someone else teaching their client. Yeah. That is most unusual. That is very, I've, that's, that was the thing that astounded me really about this network. Yeah, it's, it's they literally don't care if it's, if it's them or one of their mates or whatever that makes someone better. They're quite happy for someone to come along and as I say, say the same thing, but in a different way. Yeah. And if that works for their, um, you know, for their client, they're happy as Larry and that's most unusual. It is very unusual. So Trish, I'm just looking at your clubs here. I've just noticed uh, this head cover. I love it. It's a cracker in there. Okay. Absolutely love it. It's just for Rob. <laughs> just make sure he sees that. So I'm, gonna show that I'm gonna show that one to Rob later. Home. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Hope you're listening, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna hit I'm just hitting a few balls. I yeah, let's have, have a look. bit of um, a little bit of an injury, so okay. I'm just trying to kind of getting over that and just hitting a few balls and um, yeah, hopefully I'm gonna come down tomorrow and maybe have a little uh, little lesson with, with um, Andy, which will Oh, be, I'll, I'll yeah, come and watch that I think. So. What you work anything you're working on? Well, I'm always I'm always working on bits and pieces. I'm really um, I've struggled all my all my career really to a certain extent with the club getting away from me and then getting behind me and then lifting. So yeah. you know, as I said, when I listened to Andy the other day, a lot of my faults, if you like, are very kind of amateurish, I guess, to a certain yeah. extent. Um, obviously, because I'm fairly good, you know, in other ways, yeah. I get the club back to the ball. But I want to get better. Yeah. So, and I want it to be easier. So I, it's the very first bit that I'm going to be fascinated when I see him because it's from here to here okay. where I get very much off plane. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just same sort of things. I'm always trying to figure a way to basically get, get better. better. Yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah, aren't we all? Yeah, aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good, Trish. Well, good chatting to you. Thank you very much. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I'll come watch that lesson tomorrow. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, up the Arsenal. Yes, up the Arsenal. That's okay. It's okay. 15? Yeah, that's fine. No, well, it's okay. It's 10.5. Yeah, and you've hit it out of the middle of the club face because the smash back is 1.51. That's okay. pretty good. I do it for you. It's not bad, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I do it for you. I can do it. You did it. Pretty good. For you. Just for me? Yeah, only for you. Oh, there you go. I do this only for... for Look at that. Wow. 79.5 carry. In yards? No, metres. Meters. In metres? Yes. Kidding? Well, what does that say? I cannot see, read it. It's an M. Okay, like May. Uh, M for May, and that's European for yards. Okay, yeah, so super. It's called metres. <laughs> okay, great. That's, that's out there, isn't it? Well, <laughs> help me. Oh, Jesus. Wow. 198. What yeah, a difference a ball makes. Isn't it just? <laughs> 198. You're still two meters short of where you need to be. 200? Yeah. I need to be at 200. Well, why not? Carry? Why not? I'm in the water. All <laughs> oh, right, you play one of those golf courses. <laughs> not in our golf course, you're not even in close to the water. <laughs> Jeez, I'm in the water. Okay, the ball was uh, a little bit on the heel. Straight push, yeah. Okay. 179.8 with the back uh, one, that's pretty good. I'm done. Yeah, I think you're done as well. I'm you done. worked hard there, mate. Well done. Well done? That was very good. I'll send you all that data a little later. Okay. So you can cool. um, send the data a little later. I'll send all the data a little later. Still doing it's excellent. I know. Yeah, on Nick. Okay. Right here on Nick. Okay. There we go. Alright. So we're gonna hit on three, yeah? One, no. One, two, three, go. When, one, two, three, and whenever I say three, start your swing. One, two, swing. Yeah. So, one, two, three, swing. 
One, two, three, swing? Yes. Or one, two, three? No. Okay. One, two, three, swing. One, two, three, swing. One, two, three, swing. How hard can it be? <laughs> oh. We gotta get here. Three. Start. Okay. okay. When you hear three, start. Who's, who's doing the countdown? I will. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> Everybody good? Yep. yep. I got we go. Okay. I got pizza. Okay, here we go. One, three, we go. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, that was not, that was not well, some of you guys <laughs> Take two. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> 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 it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, swing. Yeah. You don't swing. Hey, hey, hang on, hang on. Start. 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 When you hear three, you start moving the club. Okay. 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 When you hear three, you start moving the club. So one, two, three. I'll say it. One, two, three. Playable. <laughs> that last one was okay, but. Yes, one for no reason. Everybody ready? Yep. We got a few outliers here. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, that was a Yes! Hey. That was nice. Okay. One more. One more. One more. One more for good luck. <laughs> Martin said it would take five times. <laughs> Experience three. Okay, here we go, everybody ready? Yep. One, two, three. Who's spinning those balls out there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting the ground in the same spot every last time. One. Last one. Last one. I reckon sure. it's T-Bone. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Martin. I cut all of mine. It was built in. I cut all of mine. Good fun, man. Is any of them cut? I keep cutting it. Yeah. In my Whoa, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, that's good. <laughs> He's got a better angle than that one. That's. Oh. <laughs> that's gold, isn't it? <laughs>